And yes, it's hard. My mama didn't raise no fool. This is going to take a cultural shift in the way we value life, in the way we view each other, not as enemies, as black or white, but as a neighbor and as a family. You see, here's the thing about culture. People are afraid to change it. Right? You know why? Somebody say why. Because they think all culture is equal. It ain't. The culture of violence is not good. The culture of disrespect is not good. The culture of death is not good. But the culture of excellence is good, and that's where we want to go. We want a culture of diversity. We want a culture where every kid has a chance to learn. We want a culture of safety. The people of New Orleans, we can keep the things about our culture that make us rich, like our music and our gumbo and our year-round festivals, and we can get rid of those things that hold us back and make us weak and threaten us. This is all our choice. But it's going to require a delicate touch. It's going to require a great amount of insight and prayer. And ultimately, it's going to require courage from you. And only the people in this room, only you who are here in this community, can actually stand up and provide that. And so I say again, it ain't going to be easy. But we must be willing to do what is difficult for the sake of what is right. And it has to be all of us together. You've heard me say it before, one team, one fight, one voice, one city. Some say it's not possible. I say it is. And this is why I know it is. Right after Katrina hit, as the water rose, those of us that were on the ground witnessed the future of New Orleans. I witnessed people helping each other out without regard to race, to creed, or to color, or geography. It, it didn't matter whether you lived in the 14th Ward or the 9th Ward. It didn't matter whether you lived in Birdtown, or Pigeon Town, or Back of Town, New Orleans, East, or the West Bank. It didn't matter. You know why? Because we were all in peril, and we were all drowning. We had a common enemy. We had a common threat. And you know what happened? We didn't get small. We didn't become hateful. We got big. We got strong. We reached out and we helped each other. Oh, yes, we did. I saw old white women walking down the street hand in hand with young black girls who lost their mamas and their daddies in the dark when it was scary. I saw three young black boys wheeling an old white man down the street on a cafeteria car. He was helpless. He was frail. He couldn't even walk down the street. But these young boys got him out of harm's way. In those people, in those moments, I saw the possibilities of what can happen when we put it all down and we come together. In New Orleans, we are a place of family. That is who we are. That is what we do. So now it's time to wake up, New Orleans. We've risen out of the waters. But today we still face an epidemic that threatens our existence as a people.